The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the July 12th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four ship, well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger said, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Most of us in the trading to the upside. The ones that are not, well, I'm... To the downside, the Dow is up two tenths percent, which is 82 points. The S&P four tenths, 18 points, and six tenths for the Nasdaq. That would be 97 point Daruni. So, what are these markets doing out here? Well, let's go take a look at our daily equity future contract. And to begin with, we'll start with uh, this view. Make sure we get the right screen. Yep, we've got it, the daily view out here. And as we take a look at it, we can see that what's transpired so far today for all four of these. The NQ has been close, not a cigar, but really darn close, close enough for my work. But price has made its way to the first level of resistance. Now, it may be the final level of resistance. Uh, I, that's what we're trying to interpret here, trying to get that message. So it's the oscillator and change line, 47.35 inside the ES Mini. Uh, inside the YM, that number right now is reading out at 36.268. Uh, inside the NQ, it's up at the 16,000 level. The exact number is going to be 16,021. And inside the Russell 2000, the uh, level out here is 2,194. So we're up at a level where this could be the area where the market begins to turn back down. Of course, if that's going to happen, we should begin to see key levels of support fail. So how do we, what are key levels of support? Excellent question. Key levels of support can either be market profiles or certainly it can be the TD9 count breakout levels. So here as we take a look at the 30 minute chart, we saw the markets move higher and then move lower. That began at about the 11 o'clock timeframe, 1130 out here. So 11 to 1130. And what we saw in the ES mini, that's your upper left hand panel. We see that price, all price did was it pulled back to test and reject its breakout level. 47.06 even Steven. In the case of the NQ, its pullback was nothing more than to the bottom of its daily profile. So here are two levels of support uh, that we have. Oh, the mic wasn't on. That's a bummer. Um, so we've got two levels of support out here. The Dow Equity Future Contract, that also pulled back to test its breakout level of support, 36.141. And the Russell never made its way all the way down there, 21.51. So from a 30-minute standpoint, which is really about the short frame that you would want to uh, use out here uh, the key levels of support have held so even though so so the pullback is is normal or natural right you get up to resistance says okay i might need to build some energy maybe i'm going to fail and at this stage here we cannot call it a failure i will not call it a failure based upon the way that these 30 minute charts have traded so we've got a caller on the line it's garo in california Ooh. Carl, thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you today 
Good on you, sir. I am doing very well. Better, though, having heard your voice now. So I'm going to try to pull up your uh, chart here. Let me get with all your different tools on there. But uh, why don't you tell the folks uh, what you're calling about and how I can best help you? I'm calling regarding RBLX uh, and uh, the daily chart uh, today, um, it hit the upper dot and the dot went down. I mean, three days ago, it gave me a very good candle. Uh, I liked the uh, the three days uh, previous candle, but I I didn't buy it. I waited for that uh, show that I want to see that confirmation that the uh, candle hits the upper dot and the dot moves down. Uh, I want to know that if if you agree with that, that is the bottom uh, or not. Uh, The weekly chart is very bad, uh, but the 120 minute is bull. The 60 minute is going to be bull very close. If you see that candle is very close to 50 day SMA at $89 and 50 cents, this is going to be a break up from there. It's going to rally the uh, 30 minute and so forth. Everything is bull except I want to know that if, according to your charting, is this the bottom or still there is some uh, bleed, bleeding is going to go on, it's going to pull back again to $85. Sure. Okay. So uh, if the, the first question that Garo is asking me is, in essence, do I see a bottom pattern out here? And the answer is I do. And uh, that occurred on January 10th, so two days ago. And the reason why I say that that occurred is there was an A to B equals CD to the downside. Price made its way to the 1.272 expansion of that C to D leg. So the 1 to 1 would have been 88.60. 1 to 1.272 would have been a price projection of about 78.43. The actual low was 79.02. Now, the reason why I say that that is a bottom is because there was a bullish reversal candle. That was the hammer candle that formed on that day. Then yesterday, the very next trading session, Garo, there was a bullish structured profile that formed. Price was already above the center of that profile. My experience is that when you can take out the center of a bullish structured profile, price should make a run for the top of that profile. In the case here for Roblox, the daily profile level is up at 94.42. On my system, which I know is slightly different than yours, my dot is at 95.21. So I would say that based upon what I'm looking at, it does appear that Roblox is at least going to make a run for your dot and the top of the daily profile. Any questions about that daily chart that we're looking at? No, that that's fine. That, that's absolutely. I can see that that the number that you're giving me, mine is ninety six dollars. It's not. Is not 95.21, and that is the 21-day simple moving average on the daily. Yeah, I that, see that, that as well. So far, it's very close by. How, how far do you think this is going to go higher? Is this going to hit $105 at the 50-day SMA at the daily, or is it going to roll down at 21-day at 95.20? Excellent, excellent question. So the first thing that I would say, just uh, back to the daily time frame chart, is your next yeah. battle is going to be at its oscillator and change line. That currently is printing at $92.61. So before you get up to that top of that profile, if price can clear that level, that's a positive for you. On the weekly chart, as I pull this over out here, not a ton of data. Your specific question is, can price get up to that level? So I have to rely upon the daily. And Garo, I would say this, if price can close above 94.42, then that one 105 to 110 level. Hey, we're about to go to a break. Uh, do me a favor, just hold on through this. I want to make sure that I've answered all your questions for Roblox and anything else that you'd like. This is Steve Rhodes with Garo in California. We'll both be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol RBLX. That's a Roblox a corporation out here. You know, Garo, in looking at this through the break, this could be really a significant bottom that had formed out here. So price was also able to pull back into this real breakout level, wide ranging uh, bar uh, accelerating volume back in the day of November the 9th. So it does look like this has the potential to be a longer term play. But again, as I'd mentioned to you now, just if we take this one step at a time, we see that price is inside a bullish structure daily profile, price is above the center that says we should get up to the top area. Before we get to that top, 94.42, there is going to be a little bit of a roadblock, so to speak, and that's at the oscillator and change zone. It's not showing on the black background charts right now, but that's at about 92.64. If price can close above that and then close above the top of the daily profile, that also get to your parabolic SAR dot out there, then the next level of resistance is probably 98.50. I know you asked me, can it get to the 100 level? The 98.50 area is the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. So just take Taking this, you know, one step at a time, that would then be the next level of resistance. If price can get above that, and it should, because even if this were just a counter trend move, if price gets above 98.50, what that really suggests is that we should get up to 112.87. So those would be the. So that's how I get to the answer of your question. Yes, it can absolutely get there. I think you've got a real nice Gartley buy pattern that is set up here, and nothing of uh, significance on the weekly chart from a pattern standpoint other than pulling back in that wide-ranging bar uh, and likely doing it with much lighter volume than was on that uh, trading week of November the 8th out there. Uh, so those would be the steps that I, would, that I would be looking at, but it sure looks like it has that real potential. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 98.50, I have it. Mine is 98.64, uh, which is it. the 60-minute, 200-day uh, exponential. Uh, you're uh, right. It's going to have a stop there. Uh, it, yeah. it may pull back a little bit, but that has to cross that 98.64, and then probably it's going to go up to 100 and, 104. That I can see is a 200-day simple moving average. But after that, I'm going to I'm going to get get out of it. Would you buy it at this price right now, at 89.05? No. Would you buy it I, here? I, I would not, and it's a great question. Uh -huh. And and the and the reason is I have the 30-minute uh -huh. time frame chart on our screen right now. 
And price is right up near really two resistance levels. The one that I'm most interested in is at 91.17. So yeah, okay. 91.17 on a 30-minute basis is where price broke down. And so if price can clear – so I, I hate to buy resistance, and we're, yeah, and we're pretty close to it, you know, 89 yeah. and change versus 91.17. So because that's an area where I could see price stop and then pull back. Um, so that's how I would answer that question right now, and that's based upon this resistance level. Now, my, my oscillator and change line is going to be different when I switch to a different time frame here because it's set for a 30-minute bar. I'm just looking at the 60-minute just to see if there was any other piece of information. There's not for me. So I just go back to the 30-minute time frame, and it, it may be a good place to buy, um, but it's so close to that resistance, I, I hesitate to say yes. Yes, exactly. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate you, it. You, you bet. And Garo, always good to hear from you. That was Garo in uh, in California, or I believe he's in California today. So we've got some other questions that have come in. One inside the Tiger's Den from uh, Tarpon, uh, two, and Tarpon wants to take a look at ticker symbol INVE. So let me get back to my three time frame charts out here. We'll get that up on our screen. INVE. Yep, that's correct. And you say INVE for a long so let me get uh, that going also, INVE on our white background chart, so I'm going to try to do that. So as we take a look at this, what do we know? So price is below the bottom of its daily profiles, back to an area where it has had support in the past. Looks like a little bit of a base that began building back in uh, November. Now, the swing point that it uh, was testing, really, as, as I look at this set of charts right here, is from November 29th. There was 119,000 shares. This thing was pulling back with 366 as it was testing that area on November the uh, 10th. But that same swing point, which had volume of 119,000 shares, was tested and reject well still with volume yesterday and uh today might be so no nah, uh, boy it's got volume as this thing moves down so price did find support tarpon at the top of its uh, weekly profile 2043 i think you and i really need to go take a look at my white background charts to get a better view of what uh identiv inc is uh, doing out here so you're trying to find a long position and we'd certainly love to see some type of pattern. And we don't have it. So it looks like today is actually going to form bar number nine of a TD9 count. But it's bar number seven. That's the low. So to, for me, that's not a valid TD9 count bottom. Doesn't mean that it hasn't bottomed. It's just not a valid bottom for that pattern. Now, if tomorrow you got a spike below the hammer candle from two days ago, then you would have a TD9 count bottom. And I'd say, OK. Now, is there an A to B equals CD to the downside? And the answer is, yeah, I, I see one. It, you'd have to, you have to do it like this. So I'm just going to do this from the white background chart. So, ooh, that, that didn't mean to do that. That's for sure. I meant to hit the function key. There we go. So I'm going to draw the A to B level. So that would be up to, uh, up to this bar that's labeled number five. And then there's a slightly higher high on the, trading, the next trading session out there. And that's what I'm going to use for my C point. We can see that it's made the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. So you do have a Gartley buy pattern that was taking place at this breakout level of support with this gap to the upside way back here in the uh, November time frame out there. So you're, if you're asking me, do we have a valid bottoming pattern, we do. Absolutely. You got the A to B equals CD pattern. So what does that mean? Well, right now, with price below the bottom of its daily profiles, where price should target, if it's, it doesn't matter whether it's a counter trend or not, it could just be a counter trend move, but where price should target out here, Tarpon, is at the 25, 22-ish type level. That's the oscillator and change line as we speak. So that's a daily time frame chart. What's the weekly chart tell us? Well, on the weekly chart, we did notice that price held support, which was the top of that profile out there. It has a valid rose momentum indicator top, but uh, with a valid Gartley buy pattern on a daily and price holding support, uh, which in this case here was the top of its profile. Uh, that would suggest to move to 2474. So your battlegrounds, the upside, are going to be 2474 and about 2522. Above that, you'd be looking at 2643. How about a 30 minute chart out here? So we take a look at the 30 minute time frame chart for this symbol. And this is kind of like what I was suggesting with Garo when he asked the question, hey, was now a time to uh, get into 
uh, the instrument that he uh, uh, roadblocks out there. And I said, eh, we're so close to this 30-minute uh, TD9 count breakdown level. I really hesitate to suggest anybody buy that. Well, here we can see that price got up in that area. This was back at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday, but really never has been able to you know, do much more than just get slightly above that level. And then, boom, it's pulled back out here. So do we have any kind of bottoming signal? No, but you're just pulling back into a prior swing point on a 30-minute basis. Maybe you go take a look at the volume on that you know for some type of metric but uh, you've got the bad you got the bottom you have price moving up to resistance now pulling back i don't know if it's going to set up an a to b equals cd to the downside but if you're looking for an entry point i'd be more inclined to say now uh, would be a, a time for you to take a look at this but you've got the valid bottom I think you've got everything that you need out here don't know what's going to happen in the battlegrounds up above but uh, that's where price is headed to so i do hope that that helps you out tarpon two inside the tiger's den of course, this is Steve Rhodes with TFNN, and we'll be back in just a few moments. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at charts here for Dr. Copper. 
And we can see that this is uh, breaking out today. It's breaking out above the top of its uh, daily profile. And so the question is, where is it headed to? You can see a nice consolidation pattern on the two bottom charts out there. So the next level of where a price should find resistance is at $4.71. And if we can see it close above that, boy, then we're talking about five fifty dollars plus out there. Now, the reason I bring up Dr. Copper is because this uh, next question comes in from David H. in Tom Ball, Texas. And David wants to take a look at Southern Copper out there. So I wanted to get uh, that um, out of the way and take a look at what the equity future, or what the contract, not the equity future, but what the uh, futures contract is doing. And now let's get back to uh, Southern Copper. Having a big day, nice explosive day here trade out at 69.36 so david's question goes like this please take a look at southern copper and copper futures oh okay well we just did that as southern copper jumped the creek as southern copper headed back to the october 2021 high volume high in the 83 dollar and 29 cent area so with regard to battlegrounds out here your next battleground from a profile standpoint david is going to be at 79.16 that is the top of the monthly profile so at this stage here by being above the daily well above the daily nice wide ranging well nice wide ranging bar not exactly uh gigantic accelerated volume or anything so nothing big there um but yeah it does look but the next stop should be 79.16 now let's go take a look at our daily our other charts out here i got daily weekly and monthly and uh, on the daily chart today is going to become bar number seven of a td9 count that does say you could see a top or short-term top form between tomorrow thursday friday between tomorrow and monday so we just want to keep an eye on that the next level of resistance out here as this td9 count pattern is forming is at 7091 so that's really your next battleground 7091 you're at 6943 now if price closes uh, if we get a td9 count top right around that level you know then we'd be expecting some type of retracement the area of retracement would be all the way down to its oscillator and change line i don't know where that will be in a couple of days right now it's presently at 6388 uh, does this instrument respect its td9 counts well if we take a look at the last top out here which was back in october of 2021 with some nice wide ranging bars and a gap going up as bar number seven was completing the answer is yes that went ahead and pulled back. Uh, you got a TD9 count bottom that formed back here on November 3rd. That led to a little bit of a rally out there. You had a TD9 count that formed out here on uh, January 4th, and that turned out to be nothing more than a uh, two-day uh, pullback out there. Uh, but at least it was short-term. If we take a look at another bottom out here, and that is on uh, June 17th, that was a TD9 count bottom. So it does make sense out here. Um, uh, David, that we want to pay attention over the course of the next few days for the potential of at least some type of uh, top or short-term top out there. The weekly chart, if, and now that may not happen, uh, but you want to pay attention to. Uh, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we don't see any kind of top out here. And that would then get us back to the all-time highs or the, the highs out here in the $85 range. That's what the weekly chart is saying. And the monthly chart is back to saying 79.16. So it's really the daily chart that's going to control things. It's not today's that uh, data that's important, so to speak. It's really going to be a Thursday, Friday, and Monday that we'll have to uh, pay a close attention to a pattern, a TD9 count, that uh, may, in fact, uh, form out there. You've got to get to a higher high tomorrow, Friday, or Monday in order for that to happen out there. So I hope that helps you out, David. Thanks so much for writing in, and uh, have a, a terrific day. Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Steve. How are you today? Excellent. PLTR, Planeteer, out here uh, is what you're calling about. Uh, tell the folks what you're uh, doing and how I can best help you. I bought this on Monday, of course, when the market was all crashing down and everybody was, you know, jumping ship. I, I saw this get down to a level, you know, kind of start to come off of that level. I bought it, you know, a, a little bit off the low, and I'm at like probably 1570, something like that. And I have my stop at that 1535 low. Uh, I bought it because of the TD counts and also the fact that it had better relative strength it was making that low and i think you know the candle that it put in that day is pretty good on monday but i just wanted to get your thoughts on uh there's some levels to be watching it seems like it's having some trouble around 17. um but i just yeah it looked like uh, that candle might have been the one after bar nine that one on monday and then on the weekly i think we might be in bar nine as well so if you could take a look at that uh, I appreciate sure it. 
Absolutely. So so we'll go with the longer term time frame first. And that is the uh, weekly chart that we have for Palantir. And you're absolutely right. Uh, last week was bar nine. This is the bar following bar number nine. So it's got that valid bottoming signal to go along with that. We have a weekly oscillator and change line that changed color, went from green to red. Folks, when that changes color, it tells us about the price oscillator, which is the difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average. That's what Stevie uses out here. Tells us that that line is at zero. When that happens, we usually see a stalling in price. It's kind of like a death cross out there. So whenever anybody tells you that there's a death cross, what you should almost immediately do is think uh, we're close to some type of bottom or at least market uh, uh, cooling off at least for a period of time. Um, so when that changes colors, though, what that tells us, Brent, is we should see price and that line catch up to each other. So this is suggesting on a weekly basis we should target 1998. What you do like to see is when a weekly time frame generates some type of bottom signal that the daily is doing something similar. And in fact, two days ago, that was really the, the bottom signal that I have here, Brent, is a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Price is moving uh, uh, lower, doing less relative energy. Uh, you get that bullish chamber candle. Yesterday was a close back above the oscillator and change line. Today was a pullback to retest that level, which is red. And um, and where it's finding resistance is at 1749, which is the top of the uh, daily profile that formed yesterday. Yesterday. So that's your little battleground out here. Uh, it does look like a bottom to me. And if you can get above 1749, that's what then should give us a signal that price will go ahead and make its way up into that 1998 area. If price can get above 1998, now that number is going to change slightly as price moves up or down. But we're using the number that's on our screen right now. If price can get above that line, then that should take us up to 2330. That would be a battle level. Another battle area would be 2555. And then finally, in the 2711, it range. So that's what I see when I take a look at the daily and the weekly charts out here. On a 30-minute basis, just curious here. So as the daily was forming a bottom, the weekly had that TD9 count. The 30-minute chart also formed a TD9 count and Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. That led to a TD9 count top out here that really just took price sideways up until uh, 10 o'clock this morning when price moved higher, closed just above that level. I don't have a real reason as to why price stopped where it did on the uh, pullback at 11.30 this morning. Uh, but everything here looks, uh, looks really good with regard to Palantir other than just dealing with the uh, daily profile level where the uh, sellers reside. And that's at 17.49 and that's what they showed you today. Does that help you, Brent? That does, you very much so, and and uh, yeah, I uh, you showed me how to follow the the OUL on you know daily, weekly, whatever the time frame is. So yes, if that you know, happens to be adjusting on a weekly. I'll be watching that, and you know, if it can get through this first one, <laughs> and then the, yeah, eventually if it can get up to that next level, I'll be watching that on a weekly and see what happens yes. there. So. And, Brent, for any reason, if price were to close below the daily oscillator and change on at 1661, that might mean it just pulls back to test the bottom of that profile at 1606. And that's the area that you'd love to hold. So we're about to go to a break out here. Brent, always good to hear from you. Thanks so much for calling. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. All right. Do the same, Steve. Thanks so much for your help. You bet. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. we got a couple of questions that have come in by email. The first one coming in from uh, Lee B. And Lee wants to take a look at ticker symbol DNN. That is Denison Mines Corporation. Lee's question goes like this. Can you give me a rundown on DNN? I'm looking to start a long-term hold. Uh, thanks so much. Absolutely. So as we take a look at the daily time frame chart, you know, what I see out here is probably what you see too, Lee, which is just a, a bit of a sideways consolidation. If I were going to draw that sideways consolidation pattern in, it would look something like uh, this out here at the uh, top and the uh, bottom. So you're just trading in that. You want to take a long-term position here. So before I even go look at the white background charts, I would suggest that that long-term position would start somewhere around a buck 33 if price will get back there. The buck 33 is the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile with price trading inside the consolidation. You know, that may not be the ultimate low out there, but that would be the price where I would be taking a look at. We're in the middle of the consolidation right now at a buck 46 or very close to the middle. So, and it could go, price could go either direction out here when you're in a consolidation. Uh, so now would not be the time to step into it. The nice thing about a buck 33 on the daily time frame is a buck 36 is the bottom of the weekly profile so that becomes your target area to take a look at a long position now if you want to get into it now you're most certainly welcome to do that out here i don't know that price is going to pull back but let's go take a look at dnn for its daily and its weekly time maybe take a look at an intraday chart so on the daily what we have out here is uh, what a lot of gobbledygook um is what we have and uh, but you do have a I would think it's it's close to a confirmed A to B equals C D out here. So if I were to draw that in, it really pretty much looks like this. I'm just going to use the A to B point to move this over to the C to D level. Yeah, so you've really got, and that was just a couple of days. About last week, we had a gap to the upside. That was your signal, your bullish reversal candle. So you've got that. So. One thing to consider is maybe price doesn't get back down to 133. And instead, maybe, you know, it's just the bottom. It's this oscillator and change line, which is at 142. So you're kind of in the range out here. I don't know how long you've been looking at it, but you've got the valid bottom on the daily chart. What about the weekly chart out here? We take a look at the weekly chart. Um, you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator top, wave number seven top, pulls price right back to the bottom of its weekly profile. Uh, that found support. Now you have a new weekly profile form that is in between price. So the bottom is above the bottom, the top is below the top. This is telling us the weekly chart is to expect a more of a consolidation lead out here. So you've got the weekly that says consolidation based on the profile. The daily, we I drew in a consolidation pattern there. So I don't know if this is going to go a whole lot uh, to either direction, but your buy areas are 
maybe between where you're at right now and down to the 133 level. That's what I'd be looking at in ticker symbol DNN. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. We got a caller on the line. It is John in uh, Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Steve, I'm doing very well. Sort of trouble you two days in a row, but I wanted to ask: uh, Does your charting and data service include Bitcoin? It does. Yes. Then I'd like to ask you, you if you can uh, share with us um, where you see resistance over which Bitcoin price must exceed to uh, suggest to you uh, a rally phase underway. Just full disclosure. I did nothing with Bitcoin uh, trading at all since September 25th until this morning when I bought it at uh, 43.100. Uh, I had observed that it was a low in September and Monday's low were both 39,500 or so. So nice little double bottom. I don't know if it means anything. So I'm buying because it's low risk without any particular regard to the probabilities that it rallies a bunch. And I was hoping you could help me with that second question. Uh, resistance levels over which it must uh, uh, exceed and probabilities of rally, that sort of thing. Sure. So I'm not sure why my system is uh, is acting slow right now. It must be because of all the charts that I've got open on my screen. I do have the uh, January contract. Uh, right now that is in the upper left-hand corner. And the only thing that's missing here are the profile levels. Uh, I've tried to start my white background charts, uh, and, and they're starting up. But uh, full disclosure, I, I myself have never traded any of the uh, digital currencies. That was until two days ago when I took a long position inside of Bitcoin. So you took one, I took one. I took a long position inside of Bitcoin because it confirmed a uh, Gartley buy pattern. It did it when it generated this hammer candle back on January 10th. And then we had some additional follow through uh, yesterday uh, to the upside. So I started my long position inside of Bitcoin uh, yesterday morning. I think it was pretty much uh, near the open of the uh, trade out there. So so I'm long. I'm just looking uh, looking for these white background charts to that doesn't mean anything. But I did you know I do want to give full disclosure out there as well. That way, in case somebody thinks I'm trying to. Um, uh, you know, so, you know, uh, in any event, just, just just like to put that out there. So I don't know why this is. So I'm going to have to open up my newsletter. <laughs> Sorry, John, if you, this is uh, to be cumbersome out here. Usually I don't have this issue, but I believe in the newsletter, I'll be able to go back and open that up and be able to tell you, answer your question. Where is that resistance level? Because there is a resistance level uh, that it is uh, dealing with. So give me a moment here to go find that chart. I've got this open now. And uh, Bitcoin is at, yeah, I'm going to have to blow this up here. Uh, uh, I don't have to do it right there. Let me try to do it here. And oh, I've got to go to that view thing. So, John, my eyes kind of fail me a little bit in the, uh, older, uh, the, the older I get out here, let, let alone I've got a couple of problems that I have to deal with. But, uh, Steve, so I'm right. just chuckling uh, is to myself. <laughs> Sounds like... Uh, you and I both are afflicted by something similar. I don't know what that is, but it <laughs> yeah, seems exactly. similar. All right. The answer to your question now is going to be 44080. And that is the uh, top of the uh, profile for the uh, January contract. Uh, we should uh, roll over to February here shortly. So if price can close above 44080, uh, then uh, then we have uh, gain. So there were really two patterns that formed. There are two patterns that formed that got me into Bitcoin. One was the buy the D point or the Gartley buy pattern. The other was the TD9 count. So whenever you get two patterns that uh, come together, and now people can see this was the bar following bar number nine. Uh, out there. That's what took me and subscribers into this position. Now, what we like about today's action, and we'd love to see this continue to stay above 42,900, that is the uh, oscillator and change line, which is red. So a close above this 44,080 level should then take us up to 51,270. And 51,270 is the TD9 breakdown level for the uh, January contract. So, John, any questions about this chart or the information that I've provided to you so far? Uh, no, that's very helpful. I thank you. And, uh, yeah, full disclosure, Steve, uh, I'm not your newsletter client. Yes. And I haven't talked to any of your clients, nor have I talked to you that you uh, took a position for the first time on Tuesday morning. That is just yes. too wild. It, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's going on here. It's kind of funky. 
<laughs> well, hey, you know what? It's a pattern. It's a pattern that's out there. It's a good one, and it's got potential. It's going to have a lot more potential if we can get about 44.080 out there. So, uh, hey, I like the fact that you're in on this trade, too. So uh, thanks for calling. Is there anything else? Thank I you, can Steve. Do? Appreciate your help. Okay, you bet. That was John in uh, Philly. We get back to this break to close out the show. I believe there is at least one more question that has come in. And that is from uh, Eddie in uh, Boco. Maybe there's two out here. So I'll look at these through the break. I'll make sure that we touch on both of them. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we've got a couple of questions here. First one from uh, Gary. He wants to take a look at the uh, ticker symbol uh, STNE Stone Company Limited, looking for a buy point out here. So we can see that this instrument here has just con been consolidating. Accumulation looks like going on along the uh, bottom out here. We'll go see if it actually made a bottom. Price is consolidating with inside its profiles out here. So let's go see if uh, we've got oh, – where did that go? Oh, I couldn't – I don't believe it. It's not there. Well, son of gun. S-T-N-E. What was I thinking out here? So let me get this going. Oh, geez, I did it for the wrong the wrong uh, template. 
Um, so you're looking for a buy point. So while I'm waiting for this thing to populate, Gary, it's in trading inside a bearish structured profile. Price doesn't close above 1804. Maybe it pulls back to 1602. So I'd say 1602 would be one of the levels that you would look at for uh, Stone SDNE. Of course, we'd like to see some type of bottoming signal for the uh, daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. Now, this is testing a monthly swing point from back in 2018. There was 26 million shares, but it really came into that thing very hot. So you won't get a confirmation on a monthly basis of a test and rejection of a swing point, perhaps until this month out here. As I take a look at the daily time frame chart, what does DB have? It looks to me like we have a valid TD9 count bottom that's led to a consolidation sideways. So I'd use that lower range, um, that 1602, as the area to uh, consider taking a long position. I don't have any kind of a – I take that back. The weekly has got a buy the D point that formed about uh, five, six weeks ago with that bullish engulfing candle that is still held out there. So, yeah, I'd say uh, now would be the time. I'll wait for that pullback on that daily time frame, but uh, you know you're you're basically in the range of where you'd want to begin starting a position out there. So I hope that helps you out. And lastly, Eddie wanted to take a look at Apple. Uh, so I'm going to pull over the Apple chart out here. It does look like to me that Apple wants to make a run for either 178.87 or 181.46 out there. Because and it's in a bullish structured profile, it's above the center. We typically see price make its way up to at least the top of that profile. So I think with regard to the NQ and the way that Apple is trading, I don't think it's ready for prime time to be shorted. That might be different when Apple gets 178 or 181. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. I'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday.